Toronto, Ontario, Canada, we are live with Zero Hour for Forbidden Door. Over 14,000 fans making their way inside the Scotiabank Center right here in the heart of Toronto. We are so excited to be here. I'm your host, Renee Paquette, alongside RJ City. How you feeling tonight? Hello. Garfunkel in this building, but the mood tonight is completely different. Much, much different. As everybody here knows, what a crowd we have, what a show we have, but how's everyone supposed to watch the show tonight? You can get this pay-per-view on traditional cable and satellite providers. You can get it on the BR app. You can see it in select movie theaters, Dave and & Buster's, and Tom's Watch Bar. But what yeah. if you're out of that country, Renee? Yes, internationally, we are on Fight TV, DAZN, YouTube, PPV.com, and if you're in Japan, on New Japan World. Now, you don't want to miss a second of the show. Let's let everybody know what exactly to expect Shall here we? tonight. We've got the AEW World Championship on the line as MJF takes on reluctantly Tanahashi. Oh dear lord. And then we will have Orange Cassidy putting his AEW International Championship on the line against Daniel Garcia, against Shibata, and Zack Sabre Jr. Moving on to the Owen Hart Cup Tournament, the opening rounds. CM Punk taking on Kojima. And then the AEW Women's Champion, Tony Storm, will be putting her title again on the line against the New Japan Strong Champion, Willow Nightingale. And 10-man tag team action, the Blackpool Combat Club, alongside Takeshita and Umino, take on the Young Bucks, Adam Page, Eddie Kingston, and Ishii. And then a tumultuous trio. Oh, and then Sonata will be putting the IWGP World Heavyweight Championship on the line against Jungle Boy, Jack Perry. Now tonight we've got Sting, Darby Allen, and Naido taking on Chris Jericho, Minoru Suzuki, and Sammy Guevara. And then Kenny Omega is putting his IWGP US Heavyweight Championship on the line against Will Ospreay. And tonight's main event, a match we never thought we were gonna see. Brian Danielson taking on Okada. Unbelievable, cannot yeah. wait for this matchup. You know Truly, what? this is history being made. Enough talking, let's get to some wrestling. Let's get to it, let's get down to the action. Well, thank you, Renee and RJ. We are gonna kick things off a huge eight-person tag team match. Go down to Justin Roberts and Takaro Shibata, our Japanese ring announcer. Your opening contest is an eight-man tag team match that for one fall with a 20-minute time limit. Approaching the ring first, best friends, Rocky Romero, Chaos, and El Desperado. And fans, thank you for joining us here tonight on the Forbidden Door Zero Hour. Best friends, Rocky Romero, Chaos! Nanazumura Luchador, Stone Stone. And as I was about to say before I so rudely interrupted Takaro Shibata, I am Excalibur here at the desk. I am joined by Kevin Kelly and Chris Charlton of New Japan Pro Wrestling. Gentlemen, welcome very much. Chris, a very interesting team here with Chaos and El Desperado. Certainly an interesting situation, and thanks, Excalibur. Kevin, you're Oscar Nogashimas. Big Domo, gentlemen. El Desperado. And their opponents being accompanied by Brent Nana, Gates of Agony, Brian Cage, and Swerve Strickland, Mogul, Embassy. Gates of Agony, Swerve Strickland, Magni, and Magni! El Desperado at one point was part of Suzuki Gun. That unit disbanded uh, at the end of last year. So El Desperado part of the regular group, New Japan Pro Wrestling's Hontai. And that friendship with Hontai and Chaos has seen Despe here tonight. A little bit of an awkward situation, but Despe wants revenge Excalibur on Swerve from last year's Zero. Long memory from a year ago, and man, it is awesome to be here. What a squad we've got with Prince Nana rolling out. The Mogul Embassy, of course, Ferb Strickland nearly, nearly got the victory last night on Collision. 
against Hiroshi Tanahashi tonight going after the AEW World Championship live on pay-per-view. And it starts less than one hour as the bell sounds eight-man tag. We're underway. Yeah, have just under 55 minutes. A chance to still join us tonight for Forbidden Door live at the top of the hour. Don't you start yelling at me, Nana. Through traditional cable and satellite providers, select Avon Busters, Tom's Watch Bars, and uh, movie theaters nationwide across the U.S. and Canada and internationally on Fight TV, The Zone, Sky, YouTube, and PPV.com, and in Japan on NJPW World. As right now, Rocky Romero starting things off with Bishop Khan of the Gates of Agony, the subgroup within the Mogul affiliates. And, ooh, Khan didn't even flinch from Rocky. No, and Rocky now is going to have to go in another way. Rocky has been uh, having a summer of controversy, a year of controversy, would you say, Chris, in Mexico, stirring oh. it up big time. With Volador Jr., and that's been certainly a situation to keep his eye on, especially as we head towards... New Japan Pro Wrestling heading down to Mexico for Fantastica Mania this month. And how about Rapangi Vice bringing it back together? Former IWGP Junior Heavyweight Tag Team Champs. And Rapangi Vice playing the hits there. Trent Moretta, the lateral press, both legs hooked, excuse me. Bishop Khan able to kick out. Yeah, three of these guys are, are Ring of Honor six man champions, are they not? You know, big, big chance for the, the Chaos Group here to perhaps uh, yeah, get themselves in that situation. As we see the teamwork by Chuck Taylor, Trent Barretta, the best friends. Another subgroup within Chaos. And Kevin Chaos, the faction in New Japan Pro Wrestling, led by Kazuchika Okada, who tonight in our main event will take on the American Dragon, Brian Danielson. A dream match of epic proportions. And they've been saying all, of, all the way through that this is a match you never thought you would see. It's unbelievable. And you start to break it down, Chris, and you look at Danielson's path in his career and Okada's path in his. It didn't seem like there was any way that their roads would intersect after they started almost together. Exactly. All the way back in August 2004, Kazuchika Okada's first night in the business was the one and only time he shared a billing with Brian Danielson down in Mexico. Oh, oh beautiful. Big diving crossbody by Trent Perretta taking to Leona. Oh, might his not feet. be done. But yeah, Perretta behind him. He's Bri done. Brian Cage uh -oh. sneaking in. And Cage using his strength, Chuck Taylor with the assist. And Cage sent to the outside. And now things breaking down. Swerve and Bishop Khan both enter and both leave the ring simultaneously. Desperado getting involved for the first time physically. As there we see the teamwork. Oh, Desperado is going to get a lot more physical, Kev. Straight oh. to Swerve. Yeah, exactly. Drum. Bullseye, Chuck Taylor knows what to do. Chuck E.T. over the top under the gates of agony. And now Trent Barretta on the turnbuckle. Prince Nada is widely gesticulating. And Toliona gets dropped right back down to the mat, courtesy of Trent Barretta. Can you imagine what this is going to sound like? Live on pay-per-view all around the world when CM Punk wrestles Satoshi Kojima. It, it's a it's a relative friendly match, but I think the adversarial relationship that Punk might have with the crowd here tonight, Excalibur, is going to take it to a whole new level. It could certainly come into play. This is a match that many fans have been waiting I mean, a long time, a decade and a half, for it to take place. And finally, it goes down tonight in the opening round of the Owen Hart Foundation Men's Tournament. Ooh, what a Samoan drop by Torleona. And Chris, of course, we know that Owen Hart's history in New Japan Pro Wrestling, we've called some of his matches that yeah. live in the archives of World his great journey in the junior heavyweight ranks. Yeah, we'd certainly encourage all the fans watching on pay-per-view on YouTube as well to go and check out the archives, njpwworld.com, as Beretta spilled out to the floor. Satoshi Kojima has a big connection to the Hart family when he was on excursion, spent time in Calgary with Stu. Yeah, too much training in the Hart Family Dungeon. As you see Swerve Strickland, as you mentioned, Kevin, less than 24 hours removed from that match with Hiroshi Tanahashi, the ace of the universe, ace of New Japan Pro Wrestling, and Swerve came very close to upsetting here. Cover, cover by Khan, and oh, Trent Beretta got the boot on the bottom rope. Didn't take a lot of action for Beretta there to break that pin, veteran move, but yeah, you're right with Swerve Strickland, who I think has that future champion mold, that vibe about him. And I was actually having coffee this morning. 
and, and congratulated Swerve on a fine effort. He said, I deserve to be in that title match. If I get another shot at Tanahashi, I will not miss. But again, MJF tonight didn't even want to be here, Excalibur. Didn't even want to defend the title oh, cover, against the ace. Covered by Swerve, two, and yeah, it's, it's very interesting that our M AEW World Champion, MJF, the thing it appears that he seems to like to do least is actually defend his world title. And he looks for any opportunity to avoid doing that. However, Adam Cole, once again, getting uh, playing on MJF's insecurities, getting him to accept this match. And Chris, it's not often that you see MJF get uh, get duped, get outworked. Well, there you go, yeah, but we're in this situation now, and Tanahashi in with a hell of a chance to be an AEW World Champion. And let's face it, there wouldn't be a Forbidden Door without Tanahashi, so it's gonna be the patron saint the, the guardian angel of New Japan Pro Wrestling against the devil himself in the first match on the and main card tonight. It's amazing to think that, that it was a year ago that we were together for Tanahashi challenging John Moxley for the world title as the tags made to Brian Cage. And Cage opts not to come into the ring, instead walks the apron, a right hand to Beretta. Now Beretta on the shoulders of the machine and Death Valley driver on the apron. Oh, that sucked. And yeah, watch out now. The and he got Gates of Agony. Not done yet. It's told. Oh, oh, but Beretta avoided contact on the senton but, on the apron. But it's Brian Cage who's legal. Desperado trying to rave uh, Beretta home here, but I don't think he wants a piece of Brian Cage. Can you imagine what the vibe is going to be like, Chris, with Kenny Omega, Will Ospreay, that January 4 match? Bloodbath, won by Osprey, won by uh, Omega. How awesome was that? Yeah, now Osprey so badly wants to make Omega feel what Osprey felt in the Tokyo Dome. Walk into hostile territory, embrace the hate of these fans in Toronto, and walk out with the US gold. That's right, the first match took on relatively neutral ground for both men in Japan at the Tokyo Dome, but here tonight, Omega's home country. You know there is no doubt that Osprey will be public enemy number one here in the Scotiabank Arena as Chuck Taylor, Rocky Romero gets swept off the apron. Desperado still on the floor and Beretta with no allies in the ring. And an uppercut, diving uppercut delivered by Swerve Strickland. The Mogul Embassy looking sharp, working together as a unit. And Chris, that could be an issue here for this chaos team now adding Desperado to the mix, not the lack of chemistry. Yeah, exactly right. Once you get that strange element, El Desperado is more used to fighting against chaos than with him. Oh, oh. So Leona overcommitted. Yeah, but there's no one in his corner, Excalibur, right out there without an island here. Oh, El Desperado now making the climb up to the corner. Big up kick there by Trent Barretta, and Barretta makes the tag. Desperado's legal. Oh, this is a crowd revenge. Desperado, series of shots. Swerve cuts him off. Reversal into the ropes, and Spike Buster. Wait a minute. Desperado, high stack, and no. Oh. Desperado, uh oh, that wasn't the smartest thing to do. But well, Chris, the other choice was do I risk? Going for numero dos, put the submission on with Cage still in the corner. You're right. Now the Gates of Agony in the ring. Desperado trying to fight against oh. the other. Gets up the lens, drop kick, takes down Toa Leona. Now drop to hold, headbutt onto Bishop Khan. Now he might have that shot of revenge against Swerve. He's been holding that for a whole year. Just like the grudge he has against John Moxley. Gonna be wrestling each other final death July 5th in Corcoran Hall. And Desperado, he was going after Swerve, but you know what, gentlemen? Sometimes uh, you just got to give the people what they want. No, but the, the delay by Chaos costing them, allowing the Mogul Embassy to get back into this match. Desperado getting singled out by Bishop Khan and Brian Cage. Now Toa Leona back into the mix. Oh, this is not where Desperado needs to be. Oh. Desperado powerbombed and now Swerve. Coming in hot with the kick and Rocky Romero there to break things up, keep things alive for Chaos. 
And remember, fans, you have just over 45 minutes to join us for Forbidden Door live at the top of the hour on pay-per-view through traditional cable satellite providers, the BR app, select theaters, Dave & Buster's, and Tom Watch Bar's locations internationally on Fight TV, DAZN, Sky, YouTube, PPV.com, and New Japan World in Japan. And there's the tag. So Rocky Romero now legal. That'll buy Desperado some time. Swerve Strickland. He's been mostly in control here with some innovative offense. Swerve puts on the brakes. Rocky comes oh. through. Sliced bread by Rocky Romero, but Bishop Khan right there waiting for Rocky. Big time gut buster. Prince Donna yelling at everybody. Chuck Taylor! Ooh. The knee lift, the pile driver, and Toa Leona just ran through Chucky e. T. Crossbody intercepted. Beretta reverses DDT. Brian Cage now with Chuck, or excuse me, with Trent Beretta, the pump handle. Oh, there was the tag. Rocky came in illegally before. All that time, Desperado was legal. And diving hook on Rana by Rocky Romero. Oh, uh, he, was, he was thinking of going forever. Forever didn't last long right there. So on top. 44 minutes. Swerve on top, looking for that double diving foot stop. Swerve and Brian Cage, they collided heads. Big backslide, no! Uh-oh, Rocky's in a bad spot. Friendly fire there by the Mogul Embassy. Brian Cage, that knee, caught him on the point of the jaw. And Swerve Strickland getting set up. Chuck Taylor, strong zero! And two, no! Bishop Khan, the only reason why the Mogul Embassy are still in this match, Kevin. And all the way over the top rope, the tag once again. So Rapongi Vice putting together some teamwork, and here we go, looking for it. Oh, oh. Into the waiting arms of the machine. And now Brian Cage and Swerve. Great teamwork there by the Mogul Embassy. Chris, we need help for Rocky. He uh, is in a bad way. You help him, kid. And Swerve up to the top. How dare you? We how know dare you. how dangerous. Please, gentlemen, how dangerous. This diving foot stomp can be. It can shatter cinder blocks, and it scores the win for the Mogul Embassy. Here are your winners, the Mogul Embassy. Well, the Mogul Embassy victorious here tonight. And that was our first match of the evening. And before we get too far into the Forbidden Door Zero Hour, I want to remind fans that DraftKings is offering a free-to-play pool for the Forbidden Door main event tonight, featuring Brian Danielson and Kazuchika Okada. Answer multiple choice questions that include who will win, who will make the first pinfall attempt, how long will the match last, and more. Download the DraftKings app, use code AEW, and play for free for your share of the $25,000 prize pool. Learn more about the pools with this word from I'm tracking. AEW fans, get in on the action with DraftKings because everyone can join a free-to-play pool. You gotta tag me in. Listen, guys, it's easy. All you gotta do is answer questions about what'll happen during the match. Get enough correct to win your share of 25,000 in total prizes. If you wanna win big boy money, you gotta do big boy stuff. Download the app, enter the promo code, and join free to play AEW Pool. What are you even waiting for? Play now with DraftKings, an official partner of AEW. Well, that was incredible. I am having a great time in Toronto, but you know who's not having a good time tonight? Will Ospreay. Well, we'll see if he can happen to turn it around tonight with the IWGP United States Championship on the line. Kenny Omega versus Will Ospreay, arguably two of the best to ever do it. They have a rematch tonight from their classic at Wrestle Kingdom. This is my moment now. So you're either going to pass this torch or I am going to take it from you. Kenny Omega was able to survive against a man very much his equal. Just not quite ready to grab that torch yet. Kenny Omega, remember me? I'm back for revenge. Well, I'm gonna have to be you. You took the words right out my mouth. I can 
the only one ringleader. I'm not ready to give up that spot. I'm not ready until you take it from me. I will walk into your territory and I'm bringing back the IWGP United States Championship. I don't lose big matches. You don't stand a chance. Forbidden Door, a night of multiple main events, and Omega Osprey Part 2 certainly is one of them. This is a quarterfinal match in the Owen Hart Foundation Tournament. Approaching the ring from Louisville, Kentucky, Billy Starks. What a sensation Billy Starks is. Just him, Billy Casey. Billy Starks is! She certainly is the 18-year-old pro wrestling prodigy, but also an academic prodigy. Billy Starks just recently graduating high school with a 4.16 GPA, the valedictorian of her class. Now here tonight with a massive opportunity in this opening round match in the Owen Hart Foundation Tournament. Credit 14,826, still filing into the Scotiabank Arena in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. And to learn more about the message, the mission of the Owen Hart Foundation, visit owenhartfoundation.org. And this match not held under Ring of Honor rules, so the handshake not necessary, but Billy Starks wasting no time landing those kicks on Athena. Got to go for broke when you're wrestling Athena. Oh, you're not going to get a second chance. Billy Starks making it count. Mike Posey, a referee, gets the one count. And Chris Charlton, the winner of this match will be facing Willow Nightingale in the semifinal round. Willow, the current NJPW Strong Women's World Champion, the woman who last night, or I guess earlier this morning, was called out by Julia of Stardom. Julia, former World of Stardom Champion, the international face of that promotion, declaring that she's going to throw open her own forbidden doors, challenged Willow Nightingale, and that's a stacked deck for Willow. Tony Storm tonight, of course, potentially you're the winner of this uh, this match in the second round of the tournament as well. Billy starts with a chance here. The leg is hooked, and Athena showing her toughness. You know, it's interesting, too, and as I think about the, the reception that CM Punk might get tonight with Satoshi Kojima, let's remember, Kojima said he wants to kill Punk, and minced no words about it. It's not a language barrier, and, and I think that, again, there could be just as many Punk supporters as there would be Kojima supporters, and that's one of the interesting subplots. And also, how is the crowd going to take uh, Tezuchiko Okada and Brian Danielson? Uh, I just, there's gonna be so much love and outpouring of thank yous from the audience here live that it, it's just gonna make the atmosphere incredible, Excalibur. It, it would be a situation where I think both men would receive a standing ovation before the bell. And that will be our main event tonight. Brian Danielson, Kazuchika Okada, the international dream match of epic proportions. And you still have time to join us on pay-per-view at the top of the hour, just over 35 minutes. As Athena, the snap suplex, turns the corner, pops the hips, bringing Billy Starks up to her feet. And Starks dropped right back down. Brian Danielson, of course, we saw Chris, uh, the the video that played when we were all together in Japan and Kazuchika Okada, we all witnessed Brian Danielson laying down that challenge. Oh, man, and you felt, just like Okada said, there's so few true dream matches. Ooh. Not just the connect the Japanese fans or American fans, but all over the world, such a huge reaction in Osaka Joe Hall when that Brian Danielson challenge played. Uh, you know, Billy Starks caught one of the ribs. Yes, and uh, is struggling to breathe. Athena so dangerous with those kicks. And Billy Starks attempting to get upright. Referee Mike Posey doing a good job checking in on the competitor. But Athena getting up into Posey's face. Billy Starks may have had a chance to collect herself. Gets sent across. Oh, and yeah, you could see the ribs of Billy Starks. Definitely an issue. She went into that corner hard and gets dropped down by the hair, even harder by the Ring of Honor Women's World Champion Athena. I think if Athena wanted to, she could probably drag Billy Starks out away from the ropes and cover, get the three count. But this is one of the things we've seen is that in super confident mode, but also, too, a little bit arrogant at times. A little bit arrogant, a very big mean streak from Athena, who once again going after the body of Billy Starks. 
You know, when you see Stark, she is, you can just tell by her, her facial expression, her body language. As, oh, now on the back, Billy Stark fighting from underneath here. But remember, a berth in the semifinal round of the Owen Hart Foundation Women's Tournament on the line in this match. Athena could be poised to end it here with the oak face. Athena, no, Billy Starks, great anti-air. Maybe Billy Starks was playing possum. Maybe just a little bit. Death Valley bomb, one, two, and no. Man, let youth be served in this industry right now. When you look at the young stars of professional wrestling and the way they're taking over, we're gonna see Shota Umino tonight. We're going to see uh, Jack Perry go after the world title. Daniel Garcia, so yes. many. Wheeler Yuta in that big eight-person tag team match, the Blackpool Combat Club. Shota Umino and Kanosuke Takeshita versus the Young Bucks, Hangman Adam Page, and the unlikely reinforcements of Tomohiro Ishii oh, and what? Eddie Kingston. Oh, oh, Billy Starks burning too much daylight on the top rope. Yeah, Chris. again, the, the amount of time she had to go, yeah, Chris, it was and, too much. And so hard to suck air into those lungs with the, the rib work on the back end there. And this is a long way down for Billy Starks. Athena has it right where she wants it. Who Starks? May have caught Athena on the button because Athena is fading off those ropes. But no, Athena fighting back, firing in those elbows. Very heavy handed is Athena. And Athena to the top. Well, who are got her on a start? Goes down hard. You can see immediately comes up, clutching that back. Athena sends her in, pops her up. Power bomb. And Athena the kick. One, two, no! Next level overdrive there from the ROH Women's World Champ. And Billy Stark showing her resilience. But how much does she have left in the tank? Athena cannot afford to become frustrated here. Winner, of course, faces Willow Nightingale semifinals. And how impressed uh, were you, Excalibur, last night advancing Willow Nightingale over Nyla Rose? And then, of course, here tonight against Tony Storm, the AEW Women's Champ. Yeah. Will Nightingale has an opportunity to put up back-to-back -back victories to earn her second championship, the AEW Women's World Championship. And Billy starts shotgun drop kick, backing off Athena, but Athena a shot of her own. These women exchanging drop kicks, and Athena super accurate and sidesteps Athena. Nobody home for Athena. And Billy Starks hits the ropes, drop kick to the side of the head. Well, this could be huge, guys. Far leg is hooked, and no! Not only would Billy Starks advance to the semifinals of the Owen Hart, but you'd also have to believe she'd get a world title shot. She could be in line beating, the, beating Be Athena. That's right, and Billy Starks now to the top rope. Athena rolling to the outside, trying to take herself out of play. 16-year veteran, uh -oh. Billy Starks only two, uh -oh. and she's oh, done it. Oh, no! Oh, oh my God! Oh, my God! Crashes and burns right in front of us. Oh. Billy Starks went for the senton off the top. No oh, was man. Home. And Athena was like a kid on Christmas when she saw what happened to Starks. Smashing up right in front of Mickey Matoy on the Japanese side here. And Athena brings Starks up and drops her dead. Rainmaker Kazuchika Okada. When you hike, things come to you. Kazuchika Okada, a once in a lifetime professional wrestler. When you meditate, things come to you. And one of the things that's come to me very strong is to challenge people who other people think are the best wrestler in the world. You call yourself the Rainmaker, but you step in the ring with me, and you're getting into the desert, and there ain't gonna be no rain. <laughs> I'm 
I really think the winner of this match has a right to say I'm the best in the world. This is going to be a battle of wills. This is going to be a battle of pride. This is a once-in-a-lifetime kind of meeting. Who is the better man? And we're going to find out. If he doesn't give me the very best version of Okada, I'm going to kick the out of him. Right. Let's see who is the real best in the world. That's for the door. There's nothing wrong with being the second best wrestler in the world, unless you thought you were the best wrestler in the world. I am the litmus test of great. So you step in the ring with me, you're getting into the desert. There are no championships at stake, but it is perhaps the most important match in the career of either Kazuchika Okada or Brian Danielson, and it is our main event tonight at Forbidden Door. It's that simple with Paul with a 20-minute time limit. Approaching the ring first from Vancouver, British Columbia, weighing 196 pounds, El Fantasmo. Single match, 20-minute impossible for us. A head to fire. Eddie Fantasma! Chris, last year, Forbidden Door is solidly on the side of Bullet Club, but what a change for El Fantasmo in those previous 12 months. El Fantasmo got booted out of Bullet Club by new leader David Finley. And ever since, well, El Fantasmo burned a lot of bridges in this business, and now he's left a man without an island. Heading into his first G1, well, his second G1 Climax, coming up starting July 15th. And here, we'll see what he can do against two Grayson. And his opponent, weighing 206 pounds, Stu Grayson. 178.88. Stu Grayson! Grayson, a longtime member of Dark Order, but instead turning his back on his former brothers to join up with the Righteous, Kevin. And uh, that's a, a pretty seismic shift in terms of alignment. No doubt about it. And again, Chris alluded to it. El Fantasmo made no friends and only enemies for a long time. He's on an atonement tour right now as you head into your second G1. Can't wait to see what's going to happen. Shock the world. Shock the world. That's kind of one of the themes of Forbidden Door as well tonight when you look at what the champions that are putting the titles on the line. It certainly is. So many championship matches tonight. Of course, we're going to kick off our broadcast 8 p.m. sharp, just over 24 minutes from now with the AEW World Championship title match, MJF. The ace, Hiroshi Tanahashi, challenging for the AEW World Championship. You still have a chance to join us on pay-per-view through traditional cable and satellite providers on the BR app. Select Dave & Buster's and Tom Watch Bar locations, AMC, Cinemark, Regal, and Marcus Theaters in the U.S., and Cineplex and Landmark Theaters in Canada, and internationally on Fight TV, The Zone, Sky, YouTube, PBB.com, and in Japan on NJPW World. As Stu Grayson ratcheting up the aggression here in the early goings, Chris. Absolutely, El Fantasma has a lot to prove here tonight. Nice takedown. He Chris, was in the wake of Switchblade Jay White being expelled from New Japan Pro Wrestling. David Finley jumped Jay White in San Jose, took over the lead of Bullet Club, and El Fantasma, that didn't sit with him, so ELP had to hit the bricks. And Chris, you mentioned that the grueling G1 Climax Tournament. This will be Fantasmo's second G1, but his first as not a member of Bullet Club. What kind of difference could that make? Well, I think it's an every man for himself kind of environment, so that suits El Fantasmo. Oh, 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 powerful. In, in 10 series of singles matches, you have to cope with punishment just like that. Cover. Eddie Kingston part of that tournament for the first time as well. All starts July 15th on NJPWWorld.com, live and in English. Kev, you're going to be there the whole time with me. Yes, sir. We'll be traversing across Japan, and it will be a sight to behold. Eight men in four blocks. 
as the field of 32. Stu Grayson, to me, Excalibur, just seems to be one of the most powerful men, pound for pound, that I've ever seen. He certainly is, but also incredibly agile as well. Has a strong Taekwondo background that he likes to use. He has tremendous flexibility. Trem oh! oh, that's... Oh, Phantasma, I think. Maybe rethink of putting his chest out there. Or maybe not. Phantasma lands flush with one of his own. Stu, he goes under the moniker, born and bred for combat. And that's about as accurate as you can get as... Ooh, Phantasmo, yeah, that one really, it's a delayed set in, but it's set in. And El Phantasmo and Stu Grayson standing toe to toe with similar ideas. Last year, part of LIJ, El Fan, or rather, part of Bullet Club, Phantasmo found himself opposite Sting. And now this year, we've got Sting, we've got Darby Allen, and who would their partner be against Chris Jericho, Minoru Suzuki, Sammy Guevara? We found out on Collision that it was none other Chris than the ungovernable one. It has to be Sting. Oh! Uh-oh! And Purple Nurple. Yeah, you guys are trying to sell pay-per-views while there's Purple Nurple going on. Oh, God, big That's, that's much strike. more important. Ah! Hey, Sting, Darby, Inaito. Los Sting Gobernables de Alpon. I got it out on him. Now, Stu Grayson with Phantasmo out on the apron. Stu over the top, the senton to the midsection of Phantasmo. And the interesting story in that match, of course, is not the unlikely pairing of Tetsuya Naito with Sting necessarily, but rather it seems to be the mental approach for Darby Allen. And I think he's trying to talk some sense into Sammy Guevara. Yeah, the, maybe Jericho doesn't have Guevara's best interest at heart. Now, there's always been a healthy level of respect between Sammy Guevara and Darby Allen, but it, oh. it grew, it blossomed after the Four Pillars match. Oh. Do or nothing is Phantasmo! The Tope driving Stu Grayson spy first in the barricade. But that's right, Darby, he sees the potential in Sammy Guevara. And when when you have Chris Jericho referring to, to Sammy as, as, as his underling, his employee. Oh, beautiful. Look at this. Fantasmo, the senton, the lion salt one, two, and... You know, Darby, he's trying to tell Sammy Guevara, you could be so much more. You don't need Chris Jericho. You don't need this abuse from the Ocho. And, of course, a lot, you know, life-changing things happening for Sammy. Uh, you know, first child on the way. And it, at some point, it's time to grow up. And, and Darby is very much an equal with Sting. It's not the Sting Appreciation Society. And I, that's why I like the approach that Darby's having. It seems like he's the one that's got Guevara's best interest at heart. But Stu Grayson now with the opportunity to end it. Great combination, great cover. Phantasmo fires the shoulder up. Chris, I believe Phantasmo is looking for CR2, but Stu Grayson able to avoid it. Yeah, there's, he was looking for that earlier. A lot of offensive maneuvers in ELP's arsenal. Well, we might be seeing more right here. Oh, oh. Big shots of Grayson on the top rope. Rising kick, stunning Stu Grayson on the top. And now Phantasmo. He's got a lot of options. Uh-oh. As he goes oh! oh! Super Lord, Thunder kiss, kid. Thunder kiss, 86. Let's see if he can hit it. Fantasmo. Got it! On target. The cover. One, two, three. No! Referee Brandon Martinez, hand coming down. Stu Grayson at the last possible moment fired that shoulder up. And you mentioned Los Stingo Bernables. <laughs> coming up next here on the Forbidden Door Zero Hour, LIJ will be in action as Phantasmo just got stopped and kicked by Stu Grayson. It'll be United Empire versus LIJ to cap us off here on Forbidden Door Zero Hour. But right now, Stu Grayson ascending to the top. Stu, 450 splash! Grayson, the leg hooked, and wow! Fantasmo not out of this one yet. Fantasmo opening and closing his hands rapidly as we take another look, feeling the pins and needles going down after the collision.
The 450 Splash, that replay brought to you by AEW Fight Forever, available for your favorite gaming platform coming up this Thursday as Stu Grayson, now with Phantasmo on the shoulder. Stu may be thinking Nightfall, but Phantasmo laying in some right hands, grabs onto the top rope. Big elbow strike, caught Stu between the eyes. And Phantasmo, that was slick right there. Avoided disaster. Oh, even slicker. The Jody Fleisch SDDT from ELP. And now, Phantasmo covers two, three. Phantasmo. It is fun for the official shoulders. Yeah, too. See you later for Stu Grayson. El Phantasmo picks up a win heading into the G1. Can't wait to see what El Phantasmo can do in the G1 Climax Tournament. If you want to know, by the way, folks, if you want to know who's in the field, just go to NJPW1972.com and read all about it. Tournament gets underway, and it's all going to be available for you. English commentary, NJPWworld.com. Phantasmo building up momentum. Heading into the summer, but we are headed into Forbidden Door. And our opening contest will be for the AEW World Championship. It will be MJF, Hiroshi Tanahashi, AEW World Championship title match. And that is coming up live at the top of the hour. MJF Tango. Tanahashi is a multiple time world champion in New Japan. And that's great if you feel that New Japan is the promotion, which, if you do, you're a mark. I happen to be the world champion holding the most prestigious professional wrestling championship in the world. There's levels to this. And Tanahashi, with all due respect, you are not on the level of the devil. When you say, in all due respect, you generally mean, I don't respect you at all. This is a trio bout set for our one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Introducing first, Jeff Cobb, Kyle Fletcher, and TJP United Empire. Chris, any configuration of United Empire is dangerous, but there's something extra potent about these three men. Oh man, you've got the power of the Imperial Unit, Jeff Cobb. One half of the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Tag Team Champions, TJP, the Aussie Arrow, Carl Fletcher. Just look in the record books. Any combination of United Empire, one of the most winningest sides in all of professional wrestling. And wait till Mark Davis gets back and Aussie Open complete. No tag team titles to be safe. And their opponents, Bushi, Hiromu Takahashi, and Shingo Takagi, Los Ingobernables de Japón. Thank you for this match section, which I will be the ADQ champion, it can take on Takashi, Satoru, Takashi, Los Ingobernables de Japón. You talk about effective units, Kev. Kings of the multi-man, virtually unbeatable in these types of scenarios. Shingo Takagi making his return to AEW. Of course, you mentioned Kevin, he teaming up with Sting and Darby Allen last year when they defeated El Phantasmo and the Young Bucks at Forbidden Door. Now bringing along Bushi and IWGP Junior. Uh -oh. Oh, oh, oh. And United Empire getting things started out hot here. 
So the United Empire, of course, will be represented in Forbidden Door, which gets underway just over 13 minutes live on pay-per-view. Will Ospreay, the leader of the United Empire, and wants to bring back the IWGP US Heavyweight Championship, crowning achievement for the faction that Osprey began. As Bushi starting things out alongside TJP and Kyle Fletcher, and right now Jeff Cobb is taunting us. Meanwhile, Jeff oh, no. oh no, no, Cobb the misdirect, and oh no, sending Bushi into crashing into the Japanese announce desk, and Hiromu Takahashi sent into the steps courtesy of TJP. Man, bodies flying everywhere. Fletcher got a hold of Shingo. Now TJP. TJP, Francesco Akira. No, you're not the Junior Heavyweight Champ. Heavy champ. Heavy no. Now TJP in the ring with Bushi. TJP coming over the top senton. TJP, regular tag team partner, Francesco Akira. Team of Catch 2-2 two, two, is set to defend the Junior Heavyweight Tag Titles against uh, Bullet Club's War Dogs. Good luck. Man, that is going to be a rough fight with Drilla Maloney and Clark Connors as the opponents. It's July 4th. Kyle Fletcher in control of Bucci. I wonder if uh, the members of the United Empire are going to corner Will Ospreay for this matchup. We'll I, see later on. Well, that we could make all the difference. We've seen United Empire come out in Will Ospreay's corner, not to get involved, but to give that corner man advice. And meanwhile, you've got Don Callis offering personal security to Will Ospreay. Military grade security, in the words of Don Callis. Does that seem like overkill to you? Well, Will Ospreay had some uncomplimentary things to say about the nation of Canada. Sure. Kenny Omega's home. And, you know, he didn't need to, Osprey didn't need to fan the flames. But right now, Bushi and Jeff Cobb. As Cobb showed off his athleticism, standing room salt press. Two and... Now, certainly at 280 pounds, he's far from a junior heavyweight, but he's got all the agility of one, no doubt about it. Shingo just get dropped. And Jeff Cobb and Shingo Takagi are no strangers to one another. The first time they crossed paths with the finals of the 2018 Battle of Los Angeles Tournament in Pro Wrestling Gorilla, where Jeff Cobb scored the win. And they've met since in multiple singles matches in New Japan Pro Wrestling. And now here tonight, Forbidden Door Zero Hour, you've got just over 10 minutes, still a chance to join us. Cable and satellite providers, BR app, select Dave and Busters, and Tom Swashbart locations, and internationally on Fight TV, DAZN, Sky, YouTube, and DPB.com, as Hiromu Takahashi sent a TJP into the face of Kyle Fletcher. As Hiromu, Hiromu almost the, uh, the heir apparent to Jushi Thunder Liger after Liger's retirement in the junior heavyweight division. You could almost say on pass to surpass Jushi Liger, one more best in the Super Junior trophies than anyone, and is on track of V5. It's cover and Cobb, and Cobb wants that record of V12 for IWGP Junior Heavyweight Championship defenses. As Hiromu looking to hoist up Jeff Cobb. Drop kick to the knee, trying to destroy the vertical base, Kevin. And Hiromu trying and is, and he does have the power to do it, but Jeff Cobb otherworldly with his strength. Hiromu trying to break down doors of his own and unifying all promotions, all junior heavyweights around the world. Oh, Cobb oh. pops the hips, and Hiromu landed high on the shoulders and the back of his neck. Surgically repaired, was broken in the past. And now all he can do, try and get to Shingo, is there. Shingo Takagi, Kyle Fletcher. Fletcher chops down the Lariat attempt. And the elbows being exchanged. Shingo, very, very hard striker. Fletcher puts on the brakes and lays in a solid shot of his own, but Shingo, very quick as well. Former IWGP World Heavyweight Champion gets caught. Shingo. No! Oh! Fletcher using his leg, and he extended and followed through with that thrust kick. All right, let's see now what TJP can do. The veteran, so tough, so wily, flies in, forearm off the top. Couple of ways for him to win, Chris, either high flying or on the ground. Absolutely, could come off the top of the member splash or lock in that Pinoy stretch and tap Shingo or anybody else. My goodness. Now United Empire 
Going to work on the big man of LIJ. Mamba. Mamba. Off the top, TJP. No. Hiromu there to break it up. Referee tight to knock him out. She's hand about to hit the map for the third time. TJP left inside the ring with Shingo Takagi. Shingo. Elbows out. Lariat blocked. TJ throwing soul butt. Caught Shingo on the side of the head. Shingo though. Oh, right hand. You can lay it. Underneath goes TJ. Pop up. Death Valley driver by Shingo Takagi. Wait a minute. Chris, I got a question is for you. It, it is time. Shingo's come to Toronto. And the war cry by Shingo and Hiromu. And TJP's like, no, I don't want it to be time. Bushi, Hiromu, and Shingo with TJP. High stop, <laughs> Big bomber, my goodness. One, two, no, Cobb there to break it up. Had Jeff Cobb not intervened, that would have been it for United Empire. No doubt about it. Seven minutes, folks. Seven minutes until the start of Forbidden Door on pay-per-view. We are going live at the top of the oh, hour. The opening the contest. Bushi. Oh, Bushi takes out Fletcher. Our opening contest tonight when Forbidden Door starts. MJF, Hiroshi Tanahashi, the ace. Will he become the new AEW World Champion? As Shingo Takagi looking to put away TJP. Shingo, no. Last a dragon counter. One, two. TJP. Slippery goes over the top, lands on his feet, launches off, DDT attempted. Shingo pops him off, throws kick, no! Oh! That kick from TJP would have flattened the junior heavyweight, but Shingo Takagi, oh, look at Hiromu. Now Shingo, he bit down on that mouthpiece and the made in Japan! Bushi, Hiromu Takahashi, and Shingo Takagi. I think we're going to say, Bushi, I got to show you. I got to show you this. Has the tone been set for tonight for LIJ? Will Tetsuya Naito, Sting, and Darby Allen be able to prevail over the team dubbed the Suzuki Gods? We will find out later on tonight. Does this have any foreboding energy towards Will Ospreay as he challenges Kenny Omega for the IWGP United States Heavyweight Championship. There is only one way to find out, and that is to join us for Forbidden Door, just over five minutes away. You do not want to miss a moment. This is perhaps the biggest night of international pro wrestling of the year. And let's go to the remarkable Renee Paquette and the regrettable RJ City. RJ, can you wrap your head around what we've already seen here tonight on Zero Hour? This is insanity. I cannot, but I'm going to have to because we're only minutes away. You can order Forbidden Door and traditional cable and satellite providers. You can get it on Bleacher Report, select movie theaters, Dave & Buster's, and Tom's Watch Bar. You sure can, and internationally on Fight TV, DAZN, YouTube, PPV.com, and if you're in Japan, New Japan World. This Toronto crowd there, Toronto, let's hear it! We know over the years just what a Toronto crowd sounds like when we got some pro wrestling in the house, and this is one of the best cards we will ever see here in Toronto. What are you looking forward to? Well, personally, I'm looking forward to Kojima against CM Punk. See, Renee, you are from Toronto. whatever it wants. Sure, sure does. Now listen, of course the match that I think a lot of people here are pretty pumped for. Tonight's main event, we are going to see Brian Danielson against Okada. I 
don't think you will ever see another match like this again. Certainly not. I mean, at this point of Brian Danielson's career, for him to have this match, one that he always had on his bucket list, I got to talk to Brian a little bit earlier today, and I could just see that intensity in his eyes. I could see the gravity of what this match meant to him at this point in his career. So to imagine what these two are going to do in tonight's main event, unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Now our other Canadian guy, Kenny Omega talk about this IWGP United States Championship on the line against Will Ospreay. How do you see this version of this match when we saw at Wrestle Kingdom? How's it going to go tonight? Their first match was in 2015. Every time they wrestle, it gets more intense and more crazy. I predict this one will be both better and a lot worse for one of them. <laughs> No doubt. Now, we know the, sh the match is going to be kicking things off tonight. MJF against Tanahashi. Of course, MJF a little bit reluctant to take this matchup, but how do you see this one shaking out with the AEW World Championship on the line? You know what? Tanahashi was always on the top of his game, but I don't see how you get to play the ace when you are dealing with the devil. Woo! Toronto, let's hear it. We are moments away from being live on pay-per-view with one of the best cards in professional wrestling history. It is all happening here tonight. Cannot wait. The Forbidden Door, you feeling like it's open? I believe the door is open. Forbidden Door is live on pay-per-view. Vision once unimaginable. Two of pro wrestling's biggest powerhouses coming together to give you an event like you've never seen before. Unlocked an entirely new world. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been a historic night in the annals of AEW. Now, as this forbidden door swings open yet again, battles thought impossible become reality. Kenny Omega! Remember me? I'm the guy who left covered in my own blood and the Tokyo Dome. I'm back for revenge. I don't lose big matches. You don't stand a chance. Jericho and Sting, first time ever. Find a partner and face us. I accept. Darby accepts. Chris, you made a lot of enemies. We got the guy for Sunday. Tetsuya Naito, four-way match for the AW International Championship. It will be every man for himself. Challenge the elite. Five-on-five five match. What will be a celebration of wrestling? You and I, Gail. You will never be the AEW Women's Champion. Forbidden Door is the IWGP World Heavy Q Order Open Challenge. I am a Officially accepting Sonata's open challenge. The king is back, baby. I am the truth, and the truth is painful. I'm the world champ! Nobody's better than me! The once in a generation athlete, the once in a century athlete, the ace of the universe. Damn it, Tanahashi! You're on! Something extraordinarily special. The Zuchka Okada. Brian, let's see who is the real best in the world. You call yourself the Rainmaker. Will you step in the ring with me? And you're getting into the desert. And there ain't gonna be no rain. Tonight, AEW and New Japan Pro Wrestling open the forbidden door. Japan Pro Wrestling presents Forbidden Door. 